This is the Wolverine adding machine, probably from the 1940s. You know, for the kids. It's really loud. It's a big red tin box that can add numbers with four digits. Each column has a strip with little finger holes that you pull down. Down here where it says total, you can see the total. We got instructions right here on the front. And that's about it. This thing was made by the Wolverine Supply and Manufacturing Company in Pittsburgh. They put the patent number right on there. It was submitted by Linus Ritz in 1941. Wolverine officially changed its name to the Wolverine Toy Company in 1963. So this thing must have been made sometime between 1941 and 1963. Probably on the earlier side of that window. Did I mention this thing is really loud? Listen to this. When you add a number, you just stick your finger in the appropriate slot and then pull it all the way down and then let go. It's going to be pretty loud, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready for me to do it? Hold on. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure how I can convince you how loud this is. You know, this is a video that I recorded and edited. This isn't a live stream. So actually, all the sound that you're hearing has been re-recorded and adjusted after the fact. So I could just increase the volume of any sound however I wanted, and you'd never know if that was really how loud it was, or if I just juiced it up for the video. So I guess you'll just have to trust me. Hey, let's do it this way. Here it is right next to the camera. And now here it is at the other end of my little street. Well, actually, I just played the exact same sound twice. See, you got no way of knowing. Okay, okay, I'll do it for real this time. It's still pretty loud, right? I just spent all that time talking about how loud this thing is because there's not a lot else to say about it. Actually, that's the best thing about this machine. It's uncomplicated. If I want to add a bunch of numbers like this, I just enter them in one at a time. And that's really it. Most machines have some way to clear the number back to zero. Not this one. Instructions right there say, beginning from the right, make additions in each column so zero will appear in each register. In other words, clear it yourself, kid. You've got to learn someday. I like the bright colors, and the size and weight of it feel perfect. My only big complaint is you have to be at the right angle to use it. If your line of sight is perpendicular to the surface, then everything's great. But if you're like down here a little bit, you tell me which hole is for the 7. You know, I did a video about another adding machine for kids called the Hasbro Adding Machine. These two machines are actually pretty similar, so it's natural to compare them. Now, I respect you, so I'm going to tell it to you straight. This one is better. The Hasbro one is flimsy plastic, and it had lots of useless extra features. It had a silly clearing procedure, and a useless totaling button with a dinging bell. Actually, I kind of like that bell. None of those extra things made the Hasbro any better, and it's much more likely to break. This thing seems pretty indestructible, although I've seen ones that are pretty rusted. If I'm going to give one of these to a child, I would absolutely give them something that's simple and durable, rather than something complicated and fragile. Here's a little heads up for the kids though. These things are made of very thin strips of metal. And they shoot back pretty fast. That's why it's so loud. So don't pull one all the way down with your finger in there. It hurts. 
It hurts because it's loud.